Nebraska wrapped up their 13th spring practice on Tuesday. Hi, Sean Callahan with HuskerOnline.com. Uh, it was a heavy offensive line day. Uh, we also caught up, though, with offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield as he gave his outlook of his group th at this point of the spring. Uh, we started, you know, started out pretty good. Had some, uh, it's like everything else. Like we're we're working to to eliminate the highs and the lows. We had some highs, we had some lows, had some highs, had some lows. So we had to start to, you know, eliminate the lows and get it more to a consistent measure. Quarterback remains a topic of discussion, but Heinrich Harburg, I think when you look at that group right now, he's really the surprise of the spring. A uh, big physical athletic, uh, you know, he's not just a runner. He can throw the football as well. So, I mean, he allows you to be multiple in a lot of things that we're doing offensively. Really uh, pleased with his, uh, his development thus far through 12 practices. Uh, he is. I think there's a healthy competition there. I think that, you know, they both have their good days, but I think they're, you know, the iron sharpens iron and all the quarterbacks in the room are really pushing each other. As for the offensive line, I think the big storyline for Donovan Riola and his group has been continuity. Well, I think it's just, you know, when you play on, on game day in practice, whatever, right, you have to play together, right? Our, our job is to give each player a chance and, um, it's so important that everyone's seen it with, through one set of eyes, right? So no one's, everyone's on the same page, and, you know, it comes with communication. And, uh, you know, that's a every day. We, we challenge them every day to, to communicate and, 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 and be clear. Uh, looking good, you know, improving our communication, seeing the field with, through one set of eyes, and just kind of coming together and staying together as a unit. Looking good. The Huskers also added a player who projects to start at Arizona State transfer, Ben Scott. He'll look to be the starting center for Nebraska here in 2023. And Scott said the transition to Nebraska has been smooth. It's been a little bit of adjustment. You know, Coach Riello teaches um, um, his technique and his way of blocking a little bit different than what I was used to. But, you know, it's not the easy way is, is what he says. He's not. It's not the easy way, but it's the right way to do things. And I really believe that, like, now that I'm here and doing it, it's coming along good. And, uh, yeah, I really like it. You know, I think he just, he comes in and he's got experience, right? He's played a lot of football. Um, but, you know, along with all those guys, you know, the biggest thing for Ben was um, simulating into the unit, right? And that's the, the greatest thing he's done since he's gotten here, right? He, he just picked the standard up and he ran with it. And for Scott, playing for Nebraska is special for a lot of reasons. Oh, yeah. So my mom is from Columbus. So she has all her family out there in Columbus. So I think they'll be they'll be packing in the stadium pretty deep on Saturday. And I think they're really excited to see me in, uh, in red. That's, that, that's for sure. Oh, well, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I like him a lot. He's funny. Uh, definitely brings some uh, new energy to the locker room and uh, to the O-line room as a whole. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see him during the season. Oh, I mean, growing up, I knew how crazy these fans are and how everyone is around here. You know, there's no NFL team. There's not really anything but Nebraska football and even out in Columbus my whole family they're all they're all season ticket holders and that's a good drive away so I mean I knew from the start how crazy these fans are and um, yeah it's a big difference from what I've been I've been in stadiums that had 10,000 people in it so it's it's going to be a big change but I can't wait and then finally, on the defensive side of the ball, we caught up with Florida transfer Corey Collier, who's working in in the secondary. Uh, probably safety, uh, boundary, and free. It's not really a side of safety, but we call it boundary and free safety. So it's both sides. They basically do the same thing, though. I kind of did that in high school. So I, I always wanted to be a versatile guy, you know, because if you learn a lot, you, know, you can get to the NFL easier. So I feel like I can do that. Nebraska is scheduled to come back on Thursday for their 14th spring practice. It will actually be under the lights on Thursday night in Memorial Stadium with the Huskers and Lincoln. I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com.